Shalom. Shalom. Uh, and Akut. Um, yes, I'm here today. Um, I, I have a previous video um, talking about how to do fringes. This is another dress that I'm going to do some fringes on. Uh, well, that I've done fringes on. Now I'm going to complete them by doing knots. What I did do before I hem the sides right here, you know, of, of the garment, was I took the scissors and I cut, I cut was about an um, inch and a half or whatever, about two inches. Um, I cut about two inches of um, space of, of material on the side, each side this side and the other end of the same side um, of how much uh, fringes I would like to have the length of them and um, I make the fringes all the way up to the where it stops at where I cut at and then it what what it does is that this makes it a lot easier when I snip the side like this to help the strands come out much better so it takes less time. It is time consuming, but it takes, it takes less time to do it. And so uh, I can do about three of three dresses a day doing it this way and um, and stitching them up. So. So anyway, um, what I would like to do is to show you how I am going to make the knot with a crochet needle right here okay so I have my other daughter who's going to help me help record um, what I'm going to do so I like that look at that okay so I took about this much of space uh, space I'm sorry this much of um, with, uh, strands this is um, it all depends on how much uh, or how wide or thick you want your knot to be so I twist it like that and then I make a loop and flip that around like that where the um, where the part that's hanging out is in the back so I make the loop and flip the loop around like that where it's in the back and then I take the crochet needle and I put it right through and pull it back tighten it a little bit to make it easier for me to um, pull through and then I put it in put the loose part inside and then I pull it out like that uh -oh. and then I just pull this tight now it don't have to be perfect but as long as it's good enough be still I'm going to do a couple more before I and they don't have to be perfect sizes it's not like anyone's going to pay close attention to how um, how the sizes how the um, sizes really are so I pull it through there and then I pull the loose part through the um, crochet needle hook and then I take this loop and be still, be really still, and pull it through like that. And then push it up just like that. It don't you don't have to leave it loose like that, but it's okay because when you wear it or wash <coughs> it, it's going to twirl up a little bit, but it's fine. Um, because you before doing the border, you want to do this. And uh, you move it too much. You want to do it like this, and then I'm gonna do one more, and then I'm going to um, 
take a break. So, just turn the loop around where that the uh, loose part is in the back. Put the crochet needle through the loop. Pull back. Pull tight a little bit. Close and grab or pinch. Pull through. And then you're going to tighten it just like that. And this is how it will look. Now, these three are not the same size. This one was a little, uh, has more strands than this. Um, but it's okay. I'm going to even them out anyway as I go along to make them look close to get close, closely, um, closest to the, um, the um, you know, amount, the thickness as I, as I want. So I just wanted to show you and let you know how to do how to do some knots and tassels this way check out my previous video where I show you how to do the fringes how to do the strands Ta -da. and shalom